bridging the gender gap in the STEM field. That's science, technology, engineering, and math. And though more women and minorities hold STEM jobs, the National Science Board reports there's still room for improvement. It's a reason a new club, STEM Girls Rock, launched today at Booth Fickett Magnet School with professionals from NASA and Raytheon. You are smart. You are intelligent. You can get this done. It's not Scientists and engineers, all women, worked hard to empower these young students, all girls, into believing they could have a future in STEM. I started thinking, oh, it's too hard. Booth Fickett's principal is the force behind this club. Some of them right now are saying, uh, I aspire to work at Google. You know, I want to be a programmer. And, and I think that we want to bring people in to help show them exactly what path it takes to uh, accomplish that goal. I wasn't that great in math. I needed help. The panel of professionals discussed the education requirements and passion needed to pursue a STEM job. We just have to help support that that's already in them. They said perseverance, plan, have a pathway. And so what we want to do is take those P's and put them in a format to help guide the ladies to what they want to accomplish. Annabelle Ayers is in eighth grade and wants to become a neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeons need um, good, like, good skills with like math to know different areas or like good skills with knowing the human body and very scientifically inclined. Very smart. The girls in the STEM club will meet every other week at Booth Fickett and we have a link to STEM information for students on our website kega9.com. Sounds like a great program and with those uh, great role models that come to talk to them as well. You've got to keep talking to them and yep. let them believe in themselves.